The problem with eggplant is that it's like a sponge. It absorbs everything. So how you cook it becomes very important. With Chinese takeout, they tend to fry it in a lot of oil and it absorbs that oil and it gets really greasy and full of oil and that's not good. So I kind of use this technique where it's a dry fry and you can't get that in takeout. So you have to make it yourself if you want to eat it, if you want the eggplant, but you want it a little more healthier. So this is the technique I'm going to use when I show you today and I'm going to make stir fried eggplant in garlic sauce. So let's get cooking. I have a saute pan today. I'm not using the wok just yet. So I'm gonna use the saute pan because it has a lot of surface area. I like that. And I'm gonna spray it with just a little bit of spray oil. And that's all the oil I'm using, that's it. And this oil will be absorbed into the eggplant so I don't wanna use too much. The pan is hot on medium heat. I'm gonna add the eggplant. And I use two Japanese eggplant. That's the long, skinny, purple eggplant that has very little seeds and a nice, firm flesh. Now what I'm going to do is take the cover and cover it. What that does is it forms kind of like an oven. So it's going to saute it, but at the same time it's going to roast it. Hey, this eggplant is going to take about 10 minutes to cook. So every once in a while just... Give it a stir and cover it up like every two minutes or so just to make sure it doesn't burn. It should be getting brown and it should be cooking nice, kind of steaming and sauteing. This really good, less fat, very healthy and very delicious. While my eggplant's cooking, I'm getting started on the sauce. Adding one onion, that's been small diced, one red pepper and one green pepper, all small diced. After just two or three minutes, we're going to add eight cloves of garlic, lots of garlic. This is a garlic sauce, so we need lots of garlic. I used one bunch of scallion, so I took the white part of the scallion, and I'm going to cook that with the peppers and the garlic. 
Be careful you don't brown the garlic. You just want to get that. You want to smell that flavor of the garlic, but you don't want to brown it. If you brown it, it's going to get a little bitter. Now we add quarter cup vegetable broth. Two tablespoons of Shaoxi wine. One tablespoon Worcestershire. I know what you're saying. Why Worcestershire? Okay, it's supposed to be fish sauce. But I don't have fish sauce and it's very difficult to... I could get it. It's very difficult to get though. So uh, Worcestershire has anchovy in it so it can be a good substitute for fish sauce. One and a half tablespoon of soy sauce. And a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Oh, this is starting to smell good. Two teaspoons of oyster sauce. Hey, the oyster sauce and the Worcestershire sauce combined gives me the effect of fish sauce. Sometimes fish sauce is very difficult to find. You can find it in an Asian market. Uh, some really big supermarkets might have it in the Asian section, but it's difficult to find. Fish sauce is fermented anchovies, basically. So, um, oyster sauce has the oysters, which is kind of fishy, and the Worcestershire has anchovies in it. So that's my substitute. A little bit of a Worcestershire, a little bit of oyster sauce, and I can do without the fish sauce. That's smelling great. Hey, remember these eggplants? They're cooked, very little oil, nice and brown. Let's add it to the sauce. Hey, check this out. Woo! And don't forget, remember that scallion we had? We used the white to the scallion. Let's garnish with a little bit of the greens. Beautiful. If you like this, don't forget to check out my General Child Cauliflower. Really delicious video. I'll see you there.